Information tools were once few. Options were simple. World's smallest electronic calculator by Sharp. Layers of technology created new possibilities. Eventually, anyone could become a mass publisher, and many did. The amount of information grew fast. IBM notes that in just three years, IP traffic is expected to total more than half a zettabyte. We're witnessing an explosion of knowledge tools and ways to use them. The number of new tools coming online is staggering. How will you cope? What will you do with so many tools and the information they provide? We have learned how to learn from organizations that were designed hundreds of years ago. Schools and corporations. This book contains some of our forms and procedures. Study it a while and then we'll start you on your first assignment. All right. They managed our learning. They prescribed what we needed to know. They provided the experts. In the process, we became passive learners, vessels to be filled with knowledge that someday might be useful. Who can give me some reasons why the invention of barbed wire was so important to the development of the Great Plains? Jimmy? Since information was scarce and our learning options were few, we accepted this bargain. Today, however, in a world full of information and readily available expertise, we need to ask, should someone else be managing my learning? Will this serve me in an age of rapid change, networks, globalization and automation? While our learning options have expanded greatly, our learning methods haven't. Many are starting to see that in this rapidly changing information ecology, it's the self-learners, the informal learners, that are making the biggest strides. Those who continue to rely on others to manage their learning for them will find the going hard. Those who learn how to manage their own learning will thrive. Active learners will cultivate their networks to connect with experts, to share ideas, to find answers, to have conversations, to innovate. They understand learning does not end at graduation. The world is changing too fast to rely on training every time something changes. Instead, High performance will be based on the ability to dip into information flows, not in the stockpiling of Those whose networks cross disciplinary boundaries and tap a variety of thought will be the innovators, the game changers, the ones who profit from knowledge. Knowing a lot of procedures, even detailed ones, no longer guarantees a job. What will is the ability to participate in social, active, learner-driven inquiry. Is your organization thinking about this? Are you thinking about this? And where on the continuum are you?